Oh, we're missing the fireworks. No. Okay. Well, actually, that works because fireworks, they kind of be happening over here, too. Okay, I'm worried, though, because this did... Oh, I don't know. I'm scared. I don't want to know. I'm just worried. No. No, we don't have room. <laughs> another video here on my YouTube channel and today we are back with the wonderful Sims in Bloom household. Now before I get into this video I would like to ask that you please like and subscribe and here's a little incentive once I get to 150 subscribers I will be releasing old content that has never been seen before. Y'all might know that I restarted my channel. Well, I did some Sims content before that. And so I will be releasing a video of me reacting to those videos as well as releasing every single one of my old videos. So please make sure to subscribe down below to see that secret content. Girly Pop is cleaning the grill. She needs level four of the logic skill. What's this down here? Okay, we've done that, but she needs to go and use this up. Oh, look at little Clover being productive. Oh, wow. <laughs> at least one of our children is because little um, Buttercup over here is watching some TV. Oh, you might also notice <gasps> we got a kitten. I love, oh, he needs to, yeah, go. we have a little cat that is named Butter because next gen is Buttercup, so I thought Butter would be appropriate. Now, another thing I'd like to focus on in this video besides helping Daisy complete everything she needs to complete is her relationship that's a lot of noise is her relationship with Marcus who's currently dazed. Um, but they've been struggling a lot in, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? They've been just struggling a lot in their current relationship. You've seen all the struggles. He has had difficulty staying 100% loyal to her, even though technically I am the one who initiated the last reaction thing that went on. There was um, an instance beforehand that was 100% him. I feel like he loves his children. I feel like both of them really love their children. Oh, okay. Um, where the heart is. Clover has decided she likes homebody sims. That's, that's good, okay. But these two, uh, little Marcus and little Daisy, have been really struggling in their relationship. So I think it would be a good idea to have them work on that a lot. Marcus, okay, Marcus is free. So I think he's going to tell little Buttercup to get off the games. Well, I think he's gonna go have a little chat with Buttercup. Like, hey, uh, let's go and bring our little doggo to the vet. He needs to go. I was thinking you might want to go with me. Oh, okay, Buttercup and Marcus have a supportive family dynamic. I love that. I think his relationship with his kids is really good in comparison to Daisy's, which is actually a little concerning. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, it could not be me. Oh, Clover's getting a phone call from- Zachary, leave my family alone! Now that I've hopefully dealt with the stalker situation, we are going to take Ollie to the vet. Oh, she's immediately on the computer playing a game. Wow. Actually, <laughs> she, she did that all on her own. I didn't even make her do that, so that's impressive. I think she's looking around saying, this is- this is pretty cool. This is pretty- I like this. I, I like this, and I like dogs, and I like most things about pets. So this is actually really interesting. Uh, she's looking at the little x-rays, thinking, wow, is that really what the inside of animals look like? I want, I wanna know. I wanna, I wanna kinda do that, I think, maybe one day. Okay, Clara Bjergsen is asking to go to the romance festival with them. I think we are actually gonna do that but we're gonna bring along our wife. I think we should go talk to the romance guru about our relationship because we've been having some problems with our relationship. We have relationship fears that we need to work through. Oh my gosh, she's already mad. I see a back massage in your near future. Okay, that's not saying anything necessarily 
about their relationship, but it is saying that he cares for her, maybe? At least your flaws are perfectly matched. In other words, they're not really a good match for each other. Because he gave her a good little, hey, yeah, this is maybe gonna work out, but at the same time, he gave him a bad one, saying at least your flaws are perfectly matched. In other words, that's the only area of their life that they really kind of work. It, it makes a lot of sense considering their flaws have basically been ruling their relationship. His whole journey of flirting with people, he flirted with Anne, and he has a little bit of a relationship with Hillary, and her inability to basically, I think, give him the time and dedication that he is looking for. But I think it's a two-way street, so I think them getting out might be good for them. Aw, oh, describe flirty dream about Daisy. Be like, I think of you even when I'm asleep and I love you greatly. Their relationship definitely needs to be worked on. They just need to do a little something to spice up their relationship. She said yes, but Clara Bjergsen immediately walks away to go get a drink. I'm really happy and proud of them because I think they're working on their relationship and I, I think that speaks volumes for where they're at uh, in their lives. Oh gosh, birds flying out of the bush. Okay, give them give them a little privacy there. Oh, we're missing the fireworks, no. Okay, well actually that works because fireworks, they kind of be happening over here too. Look at them, kind of peeking out of the bush. Make sure no one was looking. Okay, he's he's gotta use the bathroom. Uh, he's gotta wee. I, I didn't even think about that actually, which I should have. Um, I also wanna find a way after he's done in the bathroom for them to discuss her relationship fears. Talk about relationship fears right here. She's expressing, I know everything that's happened in the past and I just don't want that to happen again. He's reassuring her, never again, I love you. You are the only one for me. And she is just feeling more secure and satisfied in that relationship. Oh my gosh, he's automatically unattracted to this person. I think that is a first. Okay, I'm worried though because this did, oh, I don't know. I'm scared, I don't wanna know. I'm just worried. No. No, we don't have room. <laughs> I was gonna move the, I guess I gotta move both the girls upstairs. You're kidding me. No, stop, you're kidding. Please tell me he's not flirting with her. <gasps> no, okay, it stopped. It didn't happen. Nothing happened. No, it's just cause he's feeling flirty and he didn't do it. Yeah, flirt with each other. I mean, you're. I guess you're having another child. She feels hurt by Daisy? No, friendly advice. Oh, cause her mother is strict maybe teach a valuable lesson while we're sitting here like never go to the romance festival unless you want to end up like your mother <laughs> no no she would not say that ask about a couple of siblings i think this is a very important conversation to have with her children a new sibling that would be nice i do think that aligns with buttercup i was going to say she seems less rough around the edges than her sister does. Oh, I think we need to hug our daughter, though, because this <laughs> this is not a good relationship, and that is unsettling. Be like, I know I may be harsh, but I really do love you lots. I just want what's best for you and for you to have a good life. Maybe discussing cognitive focusing methods. Be like, I know things haven't always been great, but like, if you're ever feeling stressed or down, Maybe just take some deep breaths. You'll be okay. I'm always here for you, my darling. Since your wife has stuff to do, I would love if, no, that that's how you got into this mess. Go give Ollie a bath. Oh, it's Easter. I think we should have a bit of an Easter party later today. Put up decorations. Wonderful. You gotta love it. Oh my gosh, they have homework. They're like gonna be genuinely the worst students ever. Uh, there's little Carter. Okay, I want the girls to meet him. Kind of introduce themselves. Like whoever I choose to be the next generation, they can't have like romantic relationships or anything. However, they can have friends. Oh no. We found an unsent love letter from Clover to her teacher in her desk today. Nothing racy, but we thought you should know. She's in big trouble because I think they would discourage that. Oh, Clover wants to invite over Carter. Okay. Oh, they're both B students and have projects due. I say y'all should do your homework. Why is he sad? Actually, Clover, 
I would like you to check on your friendo because you're the one who invited him over. Where'd he go? Uh, discuss sad mood. Hey, bud, what's going on? We want to become friends with Carter. I think I can allow that. Maybe monkey around? Try to try to cheer him up. Yes, that's perfect. I think Clover is the type of person who was more about doing than learning through like homework and stuff. She likes actually having real life experiences. We've officially cheered little Carter up. He's becoming our best friendo basically. You should start in on your project. Working on it very carefully. Yeah, right there. Uh, start working sloppily because we've determined that little Clover kind of doesn't care about school as much as little Buttercup does. I think Buttercup, seeing the animals and seeing the vet stuff, she's more all about, I want to get good grades, I want to be a veterinarian, a doctor, I think, for like animals, I think that'd be really fun. Okay, it's good quality, so that's nice. Did Clover complete her project all on her own? No, she didn't. She decided she wanted to go to bed. That just supports my whole, she kind of doesn't really do the whole school thing, um, theory. I think it's time for the girls to move rooms because baby's almost here. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty cool. Okay, one is gonna have a chair and one is gonna have a poof. Okay, I like that. I think that's really cute. And I kind of forgot that I need to set up a nursery and we can get it bigger and more ready when the child actually ages up. We haven't talked about baby names at all. It's gotta be something like flowery or earthy, something having to do with nature. One boy, okay, we should talk about boy names. That's great. I'm really excited because we have two girls and then we're gonna have a boy. So Clover is again, the type to not really do much. So she's gonna make friends. Meanwhile, Buttercup is going to study hard. Buttercup is sitting with her class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. The teacher is looking right at her. But Buttercup can see how excited the kid next to her is to go up on stage. Should Buttercup take the chance or send the other kid? The thing is, this is Buttercup. If it was Clover, I think she would send the other kid. Clover is more, okay, other people should take the opportunity if they really want it. I'm kind of just going to sit back here, uh, not put in much effort and just skate by. Meanwhile, Buttercup is like, yeah, of course I want to do it. Get that extra credit. But it also kind of, I think, costs her a lot of empathy, which if she does become the next generation, then that kind of, I think, plays into the unflirty part. That and like seeing this dynamic her parents have, or have really had, I, I think that's put a lot into that for the future. So I think even if she's not the future generation, I might still give her the unflirty trait. Um, I think she's going to take the chance. Performance loss small. <gasps> what? Up to the front buttercup goes where the teacher hands her some symbols crash bang she makes so much noise that she doesn't even notice the teacher's cries for her to stop not until the principal snatches the symbols away oops <gasps> no oh my gosh that's literally the opposite of what she probably wanted okay ask about preferred baby names butter aged up butter is now an adult cat <gasps> oh look at little butter fred for a boy and Anne for a girl no <laughs> Because, wait, why is he so obsessed with Anne? Why are you so obsessed with her? <laughs> no, oh, that's so weird. But also, we are not naming our son Fred for a boy. Let's see what we have here. I'm not really seeing any woodsy or earthy type names. Anders! Isn't that like a, like a woods? Or am I making that up? Am I stupid? Archer! <gasps> Wait, because that works because, okay, y'all see this, right? Like, I'm not delusional. I think we're going to share our preferred baby names because, let's face it, his were pretty bad. So, Archer is your idea. Nice. What about nothing? <laughs> Something tells me he kind of wants a girl. <laughs> Alice, hmm. I was pretty set on nothing <laughs> myself. Okay, no, he just doesn't want children again. Wait, 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 wait. Hi, Marcus. I'm from a sports club that has taken a recent PR hit due to poor behavior by our well-paid stars. Your wonderful reputation will go a long way towards helping things turn around. We'd love to mold you into an athlete. We could start you as out as a dance team captain and work with you to develop your skills for the big league. Yes! I think he might have quit his last job because he didn't see it going anywhere. I think this is exactly where he was, too. Little Buttercup is now an A. How perfect. Um, why don't you go still work on your homework, babes? She is really tense, and she is the type to kind of bunk off schoolwork 
and maybe play a bit of a game. She's more focused on fun and needs than schoolwork, which is the opposite of her sister. She's still annoyed from school. Like, babes, you gotta go back. Oh my gosh! Okay, uh, the, the baby is happening. Have baby at hospital. Time for the next child. Archer. Swan. Bloom. We have little Archer Bloom. Okay, who are these people? Only two of these people have the same last name. Why are a whole bunch of children at our house? I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Just a friendly reminder that when I reach 150 subscribers, I'm going to release a video of me reacting to all of my cut content, the content that you can no longer find on this channel, and I will be releasing all of that content for you to view. So make sure to hit that subscribe button now. Bye! I'll see you in the next one.